winter in the Rockies in an RV. I love it. I love the RVing lifestyle. I love being near a great ski area and skiing all winter. But one of the things I realize as a full-time RVer is that, well, you need to think about income in order to maintain the lifestyle. It's that simple. You need to think about income. And when we talk about it, well, there's a number of options available. You know, whether you're a full-timer or a part-timer, there are a lot of options available. And I will say this right now, the internet redefines everything. Really, the internet redefines everything. Now, first of all, if you're finding this video on YouTube, I want you to click the button. I want you to get over to my post. And that way, you're going to get all the specifics that I'm going to go into on the post. And you'll be able to see the video over there, too. But let me continue and let me explain a little bit. Now... First of all, I think a lot of people are concerned about this and a lot of people are looking to make some extra income if for no other reason than you want the lifestyle or perhaps you're already at the retirement age and you're concerned because longevity is increasing and people are living longer and longer. Well, isn't that redundant? Um, you want to be in a position where you don't outlive your money. So having an income is a good idea. Now, there basically are two different options. We can talk about jobs, or we can talk about being in a business. If we talk about a job, and let me, let me kind of preface it this way. <clears throat> I would encourage you to think about what are you passionate about and what are your skill sets. For example, I teach skiing all winter, and it's a job, and I'm not real big on trading hours for dollars, but I'm okay with trading hours for dollars when it's something I truly enjoy. Does that just make sense? So if you're looking for a job, I would encourage you, find something that gives you some measure of reward for the time that you're giving that business in return for the dollars that you're receiving, which are not worth anywhere near the amount of time that you're giving that business. See what I mean? Now, while I'm on this, there's a lot of people to talk about work camping. Work camping can take a couple of different forms. It can take the form of volunteer work. I've done that in the summer, and I'm happy to be a volunteer because the expectations are down here, and the reward, I believe, is up here. So when you're volunteering, you're out there at a state park or a national park, you're hosting or doing something of fairly light duty, which is helping the park, and at the same time, you get a place to stay in return for that. The moment you enter into a fiscal relationship where you're earning money, it's a job, and the expectations go way up. Just be aware of that. Now, what about a business? Businesses are inherently risky. Anybody who's ever been in business, anybody who's ever been entrepreneurial knows that we're talking about you're going to put in hours and hours and hours and maybe not get a return of anything. Or maybe you're going to get a return, but it's going to come down the road. You've got to have that mindset. If you are an individual which has a marketable skill, you're an RV repair guy, you're a crafts type person that can go to farmers markets or craft fairs and sell your stuff, you've got something which might be of great demand on the road. On the other hand, like I said at the outset, the internet redefines everything. The internet is now an avenue through which that you can earn an income. Now, there are a lot of options when it comes to that. For me, my big focus when I look at internet-based income is it must include residual and it must include leverage. Ideally include leverage. I'll say it should ideally include leverage. It must include residual. Now, here's the thing. I want you to go to my post. I want you to see what I talk about within the business section so that, you know, maybe your my ideas resonate with you. Maybe it'll spark something in you. And maybe you'll turn around and say, you know what, Alan, I think I'd like to work with you in one of your ventures. Well, let me give you my number so you can reach me. My number is 561-676-1205. I am in the mountain time zone. It's a Florida exchange, but I'm in the mountain time zone. So feel free to give me a call. Let's talk. And uh, I look forward to your feedback after you review my post. Let me know what you think. Thanks very much, and you have a great day.